Okay, today we're gonna talk about something that's very sensitive, something that's true and dear to my heart, something that I actually went through, and um, this is for my ladies. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and just hear me out when I talk about this story, because maybe my story can help someone else, or I don't know, it could just help some men understand some women. So as you can tell from the title, we're talking about postpartum depression. So a lot of people like to think that it's not real. A lot of people like to think us, people like me, women of color, do not go through depression. Growing up, that has been something that the black community has dismissed, especially where I'm from, from Chicago. And the black community had dismissed depression overall. Like it's not talked about, it's, said that we don't go through that, that's the other culture stuff, like black people don't get depressed, everybody get depressed, we are all human, so everybody goes through moods, changes, and emotions. So let's put that out there first. Um, I had a friend who went through depression. She didn't go through postpartum, but she went through depression. And that was my first time, like firsthand witnessing depression, but it still wasn't something that I went through. So I dismissed it like, I was there for her, but it was just more so like, oh, this don't really pertain to me. And until I started to see like the stuff was real and the, the people that were in my life were losing people due to depression. So it actually started to become a reality. So it went against what I seen growing up. I went through a lot of things in my childhood. I went through a lot of things in my teenage years, normal things, like things that people go through. And some things were not normal, but most of the stuff was normal teenage stuff, normal childhood stuff. If you're from Chicago, our norm was kind of different. So you you catch my drift. Like yeah. my norm of growing up, you know, some of the things were traumatic seeing, and some of the things it just started to become the norm. So it's a fast forward. Um, I guess college um, experience life, and I'm trying to figure out, you know, who I am as a woman, and just just trying to figure this thing life out, and. I made some bad decisions that I was not proud of, but at the same time, I dismissed everything. Like, I was the type of person that dismissed all kind of feelings. Like, I was a very unaffectionate person. Like, I was not affectionate at all with anybody. So, my affection level was low, like, completely low. So, to so fast forward, I transferred colleges and goes to Jackson State University. And I get there, make these bomb friends, lifetime friends who I'm still friends with them today I make all these great bonds with teachers professors people that I just never thought I'd ever meet in my life I make all of these connections and I started to look at life a little bit different so we fast forward and again I have I get pregnant and my pregnancy wasn't an easy journey for me so with that being said like I feel like I went through a lot of stress I feel like I went through a lot of not knowing and not knowing how to act if something is supposed to be this way or do I supposed to feel like this mentally. Like, I feel like postpartum was starting to happen during my pregnancy. So it was just like a lot of things changing for me. So now I didn't have my son and yeah, he's two now, but right after I had him, I'm like so angry, like just angry. And I don't know why I was angry. I don't know why um, I had all these emotions. I I didn't, I never addressed my feelings. So I didn't know how to deal with all of these foreign emotions to me. I was always just this upbeat girl and nothing phased me. So when I was facing with anger, didn't know why I was upset. Then I was sad a lot, didn't know why I was sad. And then when I started researching, like, oh, I'm going through postpartum. What is this? Like, what is postpartum depression? And that's when it like hits me. Like, it was to the point where like I was just crying every day. And I say this to say that postpartum depression is real. And women actually go through these things. Some women may not, but a lot of us do. And for people like me, somebody who always suppressed her feelings and brushed everything to the side, it hit me so hard. Like. It took longer than a year for me to recover from postpartum. They tell you like, oh, it happens right after you get, and you have your baby, and then it could last up to a year. They never say that it could last longer, but mine's was just <laughs> really bad. Like, 
it lasted longer than a year and my son is two now so I'm just now finally getting over my depression completely where I can honestly say I'm genuinely happy with my life I'm genuinely happy where I'm at in life and even though I feel like I could be somewhere else like better and higher up I'm still comfortable where I'm at and I know that I can achieve things and I know I can set goals to get to where I want to be but it wasn't an easy journey getting there like and I yes I had people in my corner yes I had family yes I had friends people who was there every day supporting me people who was trying to uplift me but my depression came from within so it came from like um lack of having a father in my life it came from um not coming from a super affectionate family it just came from like yeah my family loved me but we just wasn't like the affectionate type like it was more so like i love you you know i love you that's it <laughs> you see what i'm saying so that's where i came from and in my household that's okay like it just is <laughs> but that's the kind of family I came from, and I love my family. My family is amazing. So, um, I had all these people in my corner, but at the same time, it was just so much that they couldn't fix, that I had to fix within myself. I had to address my issues. I had to address my problems, and I had to acknowledge the source of my depression. Like I had to get to the root. So a lot of things stem from my father not being in my life a lot of things also stem from um not having consistent friends at one point a lot of things stem from not having a substantial relationship at one point so all that time i wasn't happy but i was smiling anyway so that's what my depression rooted from and once i addressed these issues i just started to deal with each one i took things day by day step by step some days are harder than others but then it started to get better because I found a way to uplift myself. I like music a lot. I love YouTube and I started to do YouTube videos. So I just started to do something that I always love. And of course, now you guys know, I went to school for mass communications. I have a degree in English and mass comm. So I went to school for like, not necessarily to be a content creator, but to be like either a journalist or someone else's content creator, not my personal one. I never, thought that, well I won't say I never thought, but that when when I picked my major, I thought that I wanted to work for someone else and create content for other people. I just thought like I wanted to work for somebody else, but then I got inspired by so many different YouTubers who were my age and who were going through college, but also creating a career for themselves. So I seen that as something that was tangible and something that if they're doing it, and they're successful with it, I'm pretty sure I can do it because I'm really good at editing. I'm really good at creating content. I'm really good at just media overall, like filming, cameras, all that stuff. Like I'm really good at it. So when I decided that's where my passion was, I just went for it. Like I just started to go for what made me happy in this was my passion for media. Didn't know my passion for would be YouTube per se until like, you know, like I said, I started to notice YouTubers that look like me, that were around the same age as me, that come from similar backgrounds doing YouTube. So that's when things got into perspective and YouTube became a reality for me. So I started it. I didn't care how many views I got. I don't still don't care how many views I got. I'm doing it because it makes me happy and it actually helped through helped me get through my postpartum. So this became an outlet per se. And granted I didn't put that many videos up but the videos I did put up I felt great about it and now I'm being more consistent on YouTube and I'm taking it a little bit more serious. I'm posting videos, I'm dropping videos, I'm making videos, creating content, <sighs> baby, planning YouTube videos, like the whole nine. But if you would ask me a year ago, I would not have the same drive, I would not have the same motivation. So I found things that basically helped me become happy again, helped me feel like me or the new me now because I'm a mom. And yeah, things get stressful. I want you guys to know like it's okay to cry. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. Just take a breather. Take it day by day, step by step. Sometimes you're gonna take a few steps back. Sometimes 
days are some days are gonna be harder than others but you will push through there is a light at the end of the tunnel i promise you there is a light because i'm living proof like i'm very 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 content that i'm out of that dark hole that i was in so i just want to share my story with you guys and let you guys know that i went through postpartum i survived postpartum like you don't know how many people have committed suicide because they were dealing with depression overall and how many people that harmed their kids and stuff like that because they were going through postpartum and didn't understand the, the, the state of mind that you get in because, sweetheart, like your body changes, your whole mental changes, your whole life changes. Like you have a whole kid, a whole human that, that depends on you. So everything around you is completely different your world is flipped upside down so it's a lot to take in especially when it's an unplanned pregnancy i just want to share my story with women that could possibly relate to me and i don't know it just feels good to just put this out into the world it, it's going to help somebody i'm pretty sure somebody will come across this video and find it helpful and say like hey i went through this and i went through that and i just want you to share your story with me like i shared it with you so thank you guys for watching I'm thinking about dropping another video as well thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video because i will be dropping very 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 soon so hit that notification bell and i will see you guys in my next video